I prefer to tax consumption because consumption is what you take away from society. Okay? The fiscal incentives for export and domestic market-oriented enterprises were discussed following calls to review the current tax framework and to find ways to level the playing field between local and foreign businesses. The tax system that we inherited from President Duterte is much better than what he inherited from President Aquino, okay? The tax system that we inherited from President Duterte is much better than what he inherited from President Aquino. That is really, uh, he passed tax measures that um, actually are real reforms. The tax reform packages were designed to provide income tax relief to the majority of the tax-paying community while generating revenues by increasing the tax on lifestyle products and services consumed by the top 1% of wealthiest individuals. So the first line there, if you notice, there is a, it's a real tax reform because we cut, number one, we cut personal income tax, okay? Cut by 458.1 billion. So that translates into, if you look at your paycheck, uh, that is almost equivalent to one month's salary. You know? uh, and then we also cut, not negative 148.4 billion there, we cut corporate income tax. Okay? That is to make our corporate income tax competitive with our, our Asian neighbors. And also, uh, <clears throat> we also gave uh, schools and uh, schools and hospitals a break. So, so there's a, a cut there. But at the same time, we, we have to collect more revenue. So we imposed excise and VAT on lifestyle products and services. So dyan na pumasok yung tax on sweetened beverages, di ba? Uh, tobacco, cosmetic procedures, mm -hmm. and automobiles, among others. So we were able to collect 1.1 trillion out of those uh, new taxes. And then, of course, we also increased uh, documentary stamp tax, provided tax amnesty on estate taxes, which we recently extended to uh, 2025. Uh, fuel marking, also we post that, and financial tax, among others. So that uh, resulted in a 212.2 billion uh, tax intake, and so therefore, the tax system, uh, as a result, we were able to collect an additional uh, 709.9 billion. So that, that is the, uh, the kind of tax uh, system that we inherited from the previous administration. Now, in this morning, we, we were looking at what are the types of incentives that we continue to provide to uh, in this industries who would like to locate in the Philippines. No? Now, prior to create, at least 1,000 projects have enjoyed incentives for at least, because if, uh, for example, you're, in, you're uh, independently wealthy, you got your money from your grandpa or your, or your dad, you don't work, wala kang income, so wala kang binabayaran income tax. But you spend all days, uh, sa mall, uh, o kaya sa five-star hotel, cons consuming. Dapat tinatax ka, di ba? So that's what you take away from society. Samantalang yung income, that is your contribution to society. Di ba? Kaya ka pinabayaran ka. That's your value to society. Yung pay mo is your value to society, your contribution. To so it's, it's, to me, it's fairer that we tax consumption rather than income. Di ba kayo dapat matuwa nun? Kaya nga binaba namin yung personal income tax eh. In fact, this year, nag nagkaroon na naman kayo ng additional ano, eh, uh, benefit, uh, additional cut in, in personal income tax. No? Uh, yun, yun, ang, yun ang basic, uh, yun ang ngayon ang trajectory ng, ng mga reforms. No? So these are the arguments. Consumption taxes, but, but sasabihin niya pero bakit? consumption tax, like a value-added tax, is a tax on consumption, di ba? So, hindi ba unfair yun sa mga may hirap? Unfair yun, di ba? 
But uh, our VAT system is pro-poor in the following sense. Uh, food in its original state is VAT-free. So pag bumuli ka sa palengke, walang VAT doon eh. okay. of, Even sa grocery, if you buy rice or meat in the grocery, walang VAT yun. Okay? So in the Philippines, our VAT system is food in its original state is VAT-free. In other countries, merong discrimination. Merong, for example, the VAT in general is 7%, pagka food 4%. In our case, zero talaga. In fact, maski yung litsun manok is VAT-free. Do you notice that? VAT-free yun. Nasa, litsun manok is VAT-free. Yeah? You can check that. Okay? Naging ano yan eh. Naging, na, nung nung nire-revise yung VAT, naglabi yung gumagawa ng litsun manok. So, naging freeze din siya. No? So, our, our VAT system is actually uh, pro-poor. So, in the study, uh, of the OECD, consumption taxes are less vulnerable to the effects of globalization. In a study by OECD, it highlighted the need to shift the tax mix away from income taxes toward taxes that have less negative impact on economic growth, including taxes on consumption. So uh, that's the second argument is that consumption taxes, uh, could you show that uh, slide again? Consumption taxes are more progressive. This indicates that as income increases, households tend to spend a smaller proportion of their income on goods and services from the informal sector. Consumption taxes are also more neutral than income taxes, since consumption taxes are based on spending rather than income or wealth. Lastly, based on OECD consumption tax, trends in 2022, there is a consistent increase in the number of countries adopting the VAT. Okay. The share of general consumption taxes, especially VAT in total revenue in OECD countries, almost doubled. Okay. So yung VAT as a percent of total tax collection increased from 12% in 1965 to 21% in 2021. 2021. Now, in the Philippines, prior to the passage of the reforms, our tax code contains many co exemptions. There are 56 lines of exemptions and 84 additional exemptions in special laws. So, from 2016 to 2020, the Philippines collected an average 723 billion from VAT, which is 40% of the expected VAT collection. So while we, the Philippines has the highest VAT rate uh, compared to the other countries in this part of the world, yung, yung ating VAT collection is the, the most inefficient, only 40%. No? So yung few, if perfect, it should be 100%. Tayo, kinokollect lang natin is 